Hey, good morning, Year 10. How are you going? Mr. Hewitson here. I wanted to tell you this weird story about Charles Darwin. Now, you know who he is. We're about to study him in great depth. Charles Darwin, the guy who came up with the theory of evolution. Did you know when he went on this amazing voyage around the world, he was uh, what's called a naturalist in residence. So he was the natural science guy who was sitting on that ship and his job was to take measurements and do stuff. But while he's going around these amazing places on, on a round trip of the world on his ship, he actually hops off at these destinations. And one of them was the uh, beautiful chain of islands called the Galapagos. Galapagos is uh, off the coast of South America. And what he did was he actually started to study. Now, did you see um, uh, the beautiful pictures of birds at the start? They were actually all finches. Yeah, little, those little hopping birds that get around, they're only like a couple of inches tall. Anyway, he knew what a finch was. He's from England. They had finches there. But what he started to notice was this weird thing. He started sketching and writing down. They all have the body type of a finch, the general layout, the symmetry, the same feet as a normal birds, normal finch birds. But he starts to notice they're really varied, like unusual varieties of a finch he's never seen. Anyway, he figures it must be something wrong. So he does his pictures and he sends them back to the, uh, the HQ for natural uh, studies in England to the ornithologist. An ornithologist is a scientist who studies birds. And he sends it back to the ornithologist and says, OK, guys, this one looks like a warbler. This one looks like a bit of a swallow. Like, these birds are very strange. Um, they have a kind of a finch layout, but they, they don't really seem like proper finches. Can you tell me? Can you identify the birds? And he receives mail back from the expert scientists in England. They know birds back to front, right? It's their life's work. And they say, no, they are not warblers. They're not swallows. They're all finches, every one of them. And Darwin has a, like an epiphany, an amazing moment where he realises, wow. So this one little species of finch that must have started at some point has diverged out over some strange process and now the species are changing. They're greatly varied and there's all these clever variants. Some of them have really tiny needle uh, beaks. Some of them have a big fat beak for cracking nuts. Some of them, um, you know, have a rounded shape. Some of them are triangular and he details like many types, I think about nine decent distinct types, but they're all the same species. And this is where Darwin starts to realise, aha, uh -huh, what if what we believed in natural science about species, which is mainly that they are created, that they arrive here, there's all the fixed species and that's what they are, they just they stay the way they were made. And he has this new idea, evolution, which is maybe species aren't fixed. Maybe species actually change over time and vary. And that is what evolution is in a nutshell, whether it's tiny little finches or whether it's like these unusual skulls you see these these are here with me at school these are skulls from different hominids that is um, upright creatures a bit like an ape but a bit like a man and look at the shapes of the skulls they're completely different and yet they're very closely related species back to darwin's idea and this is what evolution's all about we're going to be learning about it all term in the new topic life on earth looking forward to seeing you in the live stream bye